Good morning. Um, today I'm going to show y'all how to make the cutest pumpkin. Ta -da! <laughs> it's so easy, so simple. It takes minutes and they're so adorable. They are so adorable. So all you need is a piece of 20 by 20 fabric. Ta-da! All right, and I actually ordered mine off of Amazon, and it came in these cute little packs like this, and there's all these cute patterns. They're different, but they all kind of go together. So, I didn't have to cut the fabric. It came in 20 by 20 squares. I mean, it was just so convenient. See, these are all black and white, but they're all different. I have stripe, I have polka dot, I have different, oh, and I've got floral. Oh, I just love these. All right, I think I want to do one in black and white polka dot since I've got an orange one. So, let's get started. It's so easy. All you do is put your fabric down. Take your roll of toilet paper, put it in the middle of your fabric, and then you're going to pull your four corners all up together like this. All right, you see? Very easy. And then you're just going to start, you're going to pull the parts that are sticking out up to your corners. All right. I found that way makes it more kind of even around. So now you just have this wad of fabric up here. See? And you're just going to take that and you're going to tuck it into the top of the roll. I mean, it makes it so easy. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. All right, now what I did, went out to the yard, got me a stick, and I am just cutting little pumpkin stems from the stick. Gotta be strong up in here. There we go. <laughs> My pumpkin stem. Stick it in the top. I mean, look how cute. Then you can take ribbon. And I wish I had <clears throat> some green ribbon that was like this. A real tiny little ribbon. So it could look like little green vines. You know how pumpkin grows. But I don't. I'm just using what I have. And so... I've got this real cute, this was in my ribbon box. Whenever I see ribbon in the store that I think one day I might use that, I buy it. I have a box for ribbon and um, it's great. You can just go in there, it's always there and I come out with the cutest thing. But um, anywho, we're gonna tie a bow around the top. said it is so easy and they turn out so adorable I mean I have fallen in love with this craft 
you know, a lot of the crafts you see <laughs> on Pinterest or different places, you think, oh, that looks so easy. That's so cute. I'm going to do that. And it turns out to be a living nightmare. Well, these are actually that easy. I mean, they really are. get the bow right. <laughs> I'm picky about my bows. <laughs> All right, so there's the big bow on it. And then I'm going to do a couple of little ones just to look like strands of vintage. And if you want to get really creative, you can get out your hot glue gun and glue some leaves on it. Look how cute that would be. You could do it like that. Here, let me get it closer so y'all can see. Da, 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 da. I mean, look how cute that is. And it's so easy. You saw how fast I did it. All right, let's get ready for some Southern Charm on the back screened in porch. Don't forget your porches when you're decorating. Well, it's so important. If you're like us, you spend a lot of time on them. These are old mason ball jars. Um, they're very, very old, and they even had the metal, the metal caps. So I just have them out here with some candy in it. There is one of our adorable. Um, toilet paper pumpkins. <laughs> I just love these guys. Uh, just love them. They're so easy. That's what makes them so awesome. They're so cute and so, so easy. I got, I always try to put books out for the kids that are season appropriate. So that's what all of these are. And if you will have good books laying around the house, trust me, your children will read. They will, when they're sitting down, they'll see it, they'll pick it up, and they'll flip through the pages or say, Mommy, read this to me. So always have them around handy in reach of the kids. And puzzles. This brand is one of our favorite puzzles. He, do, he does, um, I say he, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but they do seasonal puzzles. And they are so adorable. And they come in harder, you know, more than a hundred. They come in, um, Harder puzzles, easier puzzles, but they're just really cute. And um, I'm sure you can get them online. I found most of mine actually at Costco. Um, here is one that is, that we did, me and one of the kids. And the 100 piece for like a five and a seven year old is perfect because they're actually doable for them, but they're a little challenging, but not too much. So anyway, we just love those. We love that brand. 
have a little banana nut bread and coffee in the mornings out on the patio. There's our flower cart. And I love mums, and these are actually the smaller mums. So they don't cost you an arm and a leg, but they're still really pretty. And really cute. Let's see if I can put that out further so you can see it better. Yeah, those only cost like four dollars and something a piece. Um, and when you buy your mums, don't buy them like that. They are too bloomed out. You want to buy them like this so they will bloom at your house and they will bloom for a longer amount of time. my lamps I have leaves sparkly leaves they just clip on I think they're so pretty and it looks real pretty all lit up at night There we have it, the tour of the back porch. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and if you did, I would love a thumbs up. I would love to hear your comments, and share my video so I can get my channel out there. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Y'all have a good weekend. Hello, hello. Um, Haley just came in and she said, you know how to make banana nut bread? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, definitely. She said, well, I have all these ripe bananas that need to be eaten or I'm going to have to throw them away. So would you please make some and make a video of you making it so I can see how to do it and I can do it next time. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, here are the ingredients and let's get started. All right, the ingredients are three very ripe bananas mashed and I just put these in my mixer here and let the paddle do the mashing. And then I put them in this bowl so I can mix up the wet ingredients next. Um, then we have a cup of brown sugar a teaspoon vanilla, two eggs beaten, a fourth a cup of milk, two cups of all-purpose flour, 
a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a cup to a cup, just depending on your taste, of nuts. And they can be walnuts, pecans, whatever kind of nuts you like. Um, all right, so the first step is, like I said, I already mashed up my bananas, so they're ready to roll. And now I am supposed to put my butter. It's a stick of butter, a half a cup is a stick of butter. So I'm putting my butter in there. Make sure I get it all, and I have softened this. It's been sitting out, so it's good and soft. It just works better that way. All right, so I got my butter. And now I'm gonna put in my cup of brown sugar. And I'm gonna turn on the mixer. And let it do its thing. Adding my two eggs that have been beaten. Um, I put the baking soda and the salt in my measuring cup with my flour and I'm just gonna mix them together that way you don't have to mess up a separate bowl you know I'm all about less dishes to wash the better so do that and then we are going to start alternating the flour the bananas and the milk um, into our wet mixture until it's all stirred up together. All right, here we go. I've added the flour. <clears throat> I'm add a few of the bananas. bit of the milk. A little more flour. And the rest of the milk. There we go. I just let it mix up nicely. And we're going to put our nuts in it. <clears throat> I've already prepared my bread pan. Excuse me. And I like to use this because it is flour and oil. So you don't have to oil it and then flour it and blah, blah, blah. It's just quick spray and it works really, really well. I have got my oven preheated to 350. So we are ready to go. All right. I have just um, 
I don't chop mine. I just kind of break my nuts up with my hands. And I'm adding them into the batter. And I'm just going to fold them in. Oh, wow. That looks so good. Mmm. And it smells so good. So, anyway, we're just going to fold these in. And then we will put it in the dish and pop it in the oven. All right. There it is in the pan. Ready to bake. Just a whole pan full of yumminess. So they grow up bigger. They grow up bigger. Yeah. Black and yellow one. Yeah. Yeah. Go fish. They grow up bigger. Yeah. Sweet, are the black and yellow ones mine. Awesome. The cat. The cat. Probably already dead because all those tadpoles in that pond. 